Now to the finishing touches, um, I'm doing the highlights in white now and uh, as you can see I've switched to a new machine, um, I'm using a rotary here with uh, uh, a new plastic tube so I can avoid mixing my white color with uh, the black and getting a grayish hue. I only use white uh, for accents and highlights like in the eyes, in the lips, teeth or maybe even uh, in jewelry. So your white color is not for fixing areas that you uh, accidentally faded over, uh, shaded over because um, the result you would get would just be, um, well it would just look dirty and muddy. Um, so I'm only using white for highlights and I'm using it very economically uh, because a portrait must be able to work without white because 10 years down the road you um, the, the white may have faded completely. I think especially in the eyes as you can see here white is really important because um, um, these are the brightest areas and uh, uh, we apply no black color and they tend to blend with in time with the bordering areas so um, automatically the colors always blend or extend um, over time so the highlights um, will remain there if um, and will remain brightest um, if you use white in these areas and as you can see, um, the fresh tattoo looks awesome with, with the white, but don't trust this color to, uh, to live as time takes its course. In this case I'm using a little more white um, because it is there and is justified um, by the original. Um, but always be very careful not to draw any white lines. Um, it's like when you're sh shading with a liner needle, just carefully edge to towards your end result. And um, even though the white will have faded out in a few years, this tattoo is still going to work because and the edges and the highlights have tattooed very sharply and it looks good even without the without the white this bild trotzdem genauso wirken wird weil er die weißen lichtkanten und die kontraste auch relativ scharf tätowiert sind und das trotzdem gut zur geltung kommt Later on, uh, when I show you the finished tattoo, you'll be able to see that these white areas will be almost invisible. And you can see that the main focus of the highlights um, is definitely in the eyes and the mouth. Well, so after more or less six hours of tattooing and uh, one and a half hours of drawing the stencil, you've got the finished tattoo here. Um, again, here you can see the eyes with the white highlights and uh, it looks always good to draw the eyes very clearly. Well, without lines, but very clear anyhow. And here you can see the structure of the, co of the coat close up. And here you can see a comparison um, between the uh, fresh tattoo and the tattoo on the other arm, which I did some six, maybe nine months back. And as you can see, um, the shadows t uh, turn very bright and very smooth uh, as compared to the fresh tattoo, which is obviously very dark and strong still. Here on the left you can see the tattoo fresh after tattooing, in the middle the original picture and on the right after maybe eight weeks of healing. Well, that would be it for my part. Um, I hope you had a lot of fun 